All right, this one right here is proof that Mike Kincaid is not insane. At least, not yet. And I'm about to show you proof that this actually worked. And now I know a lot of you were skeptical. Last spring, when I dug up that lace leaf weeping Japanese maple, Henry's going to town right now. And you said, there's no way that thing's going to live, Mike. You just killed it. You ripped all the roots up and transplanted it right in the middle of spring. And I'm going to take you out there in a second. And we're going to show you what that maple looks like. So if you remember, we got this house built ready to go. We had the paperwork finalized and I needed to get my Henry, geez almighty. I needed to get my beautiful lace leaf Japanese maple dug up and transplanted somewhere else on the property because it was right in the middle of where this house build was going to go. As it turns out, I'm pretty sure the spot it was growing in is right in the exact same spot that the little cove that was created where the pantry is, I, I'm pretty sure, almost 100% sure, that's where it was originally planted. But it had to come up anyway because they had to do concrete foundation and all this other stuff. And I've dug a trench through there for the power line. But it's kind of crazy that that's exactly where it was. Maybe we'll put it right back in its resting spot ultimately and have that lace leaf Japanese maple growing there. But I dug this thing up with my excavator. I moved it over to a shadier part of my property and wanted to make sure it had the best start possible. So I pruned it way back and then I pruned the roots way back and got this thing planted up nicely. I barked it real well. I casseroned all around it. I put some fertilizer on it and I watered it through the summer. Now, it's sitting out here, still doing okay. And I'm gonna take you out there and show you what it looks like now. All right, so here's our little path that we came down, a little rhododendron forest. And we planted this little Japanese maple off in the shade, just so it had every chance it could possibly have. So, for all you doubters out there, there she is, standing tall and proud, growing beautifully. Let me get this in a spot where you can see it. Look at all those beautiful leaves. Growing nicely. We've even got one huge, long new branch coming off of this. I might cut these off. This is another one, whole new branch right here coming off of this, it. probably close to two and a half feet long. I might prop that up and just get a third branch coming out this way, but doing great. The only issue we ran into was about, I don't know, maybe a week ago, two weeks ago, the deer came and let me zoom this out so you can see it better. There we go. The deer came along and ended up munching some of the leaves on this side, but it's growing healthy. It grew seeds. It's got beautiful, healthy leaves on this side. Growing really nice. It's in the ground strong. That sucker rooted really well. So when I come back now, it's got a really nice, much tighter root ball in there because all those hair-like roots are growing out from all the points that I had taken off earlier in the spring. And now when I come back to dig this up and move it in the winter time, it'll have a really tight, compact, strong root ball in there. And I'll be able to dig it up, set it where I need it, and it'll just take off from there. So there it is doing really well, growing nicely, no problems. I've actually hardly watered this thing. It's just taking care of itself. I've watered it a couple times through the whole summer and we've had no problems. Now, some of you may be wondering why are the leaves so deep green? Because these leaves were bright, brilliant red. Well, it's because it's in deep shade. It's in very deep shade. And you can see here, we've got tons of fir trees all around it. So it gets almost no sun, a little bit in the morning and that's about it. But, uh, Deep shade causes these green leaves on the red leaf Japanese maples. Once it gets back into sun, which I wouldn't do right now, but in the winter time, and then when the new leaves come out next year or the year after, whenever I move it, then they'll turn a brilliant red and they'll get even bri more brilliant red in the fall. So that's why it's green right now, but really strong and healthy, doing real good. You guys like that Nabari? If you're into bonsai, there it is. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, there it is. So there it is, the Japanese maple is still going good. I know a lot of you out there doubted me. I know some of you believed in me, but there were a lot of comments doubting that whole situation and it is still growing strong and proud and it worked out great. Now, like I told you in that previous video, actually, I made two videos about that. I made one where I dug it up in the excavator, made a lot of people real irritated. And then I made another one right after that, going over the four steps that you would use to actually do a good job trying to transplant a larger tree. And I'll put links to both of those down in the description. 
But if you remember that, the second video where I talked about all the steps, naturally I would, I would want to, like if I had more time, I had to get this thing out of the way to build the house. But if I had more time, I would want to actually go around and root prune it first in its place that it originally sat, wait a whole nother year, a whole summer for it to grow new roots into a tight root ball and then dig it up the following winter. We didn't have time for that. We just had to dig it up, rip the roots up and all. But because we pruned it back real nice, we pruned the top, we pruned the bottom, got it in a nice place, mulched it well, fertilized and kept it cool and moist. It bounced back and did just fine. And that will grow into a big, beautiful lace leaf weeping Japanese maple. My wife's maple is saved. I'm back out of the doghouse. Now we just not need to figure out where exactly we want to plant it around the house. So if you guys like this one, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.